Mario's adventure in the Flower Kingdom has a ton of hidden details and dark easter eggs and we're gonna tell you all about them in the 25 Secrets of Super Mario Bros. Wonder. The Flower Kingdom is where Mario Wonder's adventure takes place, and it's not the first time this location has appeared in the franchise. The Super Mario animated movie featured the Flower Kingdom as well, and its corresponding prince, who was a human and not a disgusting worm like Florian? Could it be that Florian turned into a worm as what happens with the kings in Mario Bros 3? Either way, if you're not using badges while playing Mario Wonder, Florian can entertain you by jumping on the loading screen if you press the B button. Speaking of badges though, if you wear the invisibility badge and go to fight bosses, you'll see special dialogue in which they basically say they know you're there, don't hide, and will proceed to beat you up. Conversely, however, if it's the talking flowers who are beaten up on you with their comments, the invisibility badge will make them eat their words and they won't say a thing when they see you. There is actually another way to silence the flowers, however, it does come at a terrible cost. You can deactivate their comments in the options menu, but when you do, they will play the victim and make you feel real bad about it. Oh, was it something I said? Something similar happened in Sonic All-Stars Racing. Don't do this to me. This is my only job. No! I guess Mario copying Sonic again. You probably already knew this one from our shorts with millions of views, but Mario Wonder finally confirmed it. Toad's mushroom is, in fact, his head, as indicated by a message on one of the game's loading screens. If you haven't seen that short, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't have to miss out on the next ones too, and can find out such curious and absurd facts. In Mario Bros. Wonder, you can complete the game 100% and still not have seen a secret level. The special level, called Bonus Coins Galore, only appears when you lose all your lives, and it's basically the game's way of compensating you for being terrible at Super Mario. Then to add insult to injury, Florian will also pity you for your ineptitude and gift you 5 extra lives. It also appears by default in all worlds when you complete the entire game. In Mario Wonder, we got Luigi, we got Yellow Toad, and we even got Daisy. But everyone was asking for the return of a legendary character who was also hidden. If you find some secret exits like this one in the Piranha Plants on Parade, it'll open up a special path that'll take you to Captain Toad, the protagonist of the game with the same name, and he'll give you 50 flower coins. If you're a specialist in discovering unconventional paths in Super Mario levels like me, You'll be glad to know that you can also do it in Wonder. In the Rolling Ball Hall level, you can access a special area by grabbing a Wonder Flower. But you can actually break the level and enter this place if you have the power of the elephant and carry a spiked ball to the left. When you go down, talking flowers will be surprised and tell you that you've done it wrong and that you've ruined everything. And speaking of skipping levels, if you defeat the Out My Way in the level called Kick It Out My Way before he starts throwing ice blocks at you, you'll instantly win the challenge. Poplins. They're like half animal and half plants, kind of like Pikmin. If you go with the elephant loaded with water, you can pour it onto them at the end of the stages, which will make their bud opens and bloom before your very eyes. In Poplin language, this basically means they're thanking you from the bottom of their hearts because, well, you know what part of a plant the flower is, right? Mario Wonder's a strange game. There's no denying that, but it was going to be much stranger with a realistic Super Mario as the star transformation of the Wonder Flower. According to Koji Kondo, they considered creating this character who would be eight heads tall and hum the background music of the game. Luckily though, this freak of nature was discarded, as was a Super Mario mole costume that was going to replace the drill suit. The music of Super Mario Bros. Wonder is great, and all the songs have a special version exclusive for the elephant power-up. Now, it's not possible to get it in all the stages, but Nintendo thought of pretty much everything and created a version of the entire soundtrack for Elephant Mario with a trombone playing in the background. Stop it! Cut it out! I have a glandular problem! 
The Wonder Flower brings back one of the most mysterious enemies in Super Mario history. Cosmic Mario, or Dark Mario, is an evil entity that copies Super Mario and first appeared in Super Mario Galaxy. In that game, Mario's dark side appeared due to the influence of a comet, and in this one, due to the effects of the Wonder Flower. This Super Mario is made of emptiness, becoming self-aware and chasing Mario until he kills him or until he deactivates the effect with a Wonder Seed. In the level named Missile Meg Mayhem, the Wonder Flower causes these enemies to fly forever, leaving a trail of colors behind them. At a certain point, they paint the screen with four colors that pay homage to the buttons of the classic Super NES controller. And when Yoshi eats a melon piranha plant, it'll have the same effect as in Yoshi's Island for Super NES when eating a watermelon. And basically, he starts shooting seeds like a machine gun. If you've already tried out Super Mario Bros. Wonder, you'll notice that one of the leading characters has undergone a significant aesthetic change due to the Super Mario Bros. animated movie. Takashi Tezuka, the producer of Super Mario Bros. Wonder, mentioned that they tried to make the animation resemble the movie, and that's why we now have Peach in her fire version with her hair down, unlike in previous games where she sported a ponytail. Super Mario Wonder finally solves one of the biggest mysteries in Super Mario. How do Goombas attack? Due to limitations on early Nintendo consoles, this was never actually shown, but now you can see how Goombas bite Super Mario when they attack. If they're asleep, however, they won't be able to bite you. You'll just bump into them. Koopa shells have been a staple of the franchise for as long as I can remember, and in Mario Wonder, they're incredibly useful. If you happen to be in elephant form, you can play volleyball with them, giving you five coins if you do it perfectly. You can play with mouthfuls to pass the shell like in a tennis match. Underwater, you can also use them as jets to swim quickly without needing any badge. You can strike a super cool pose and grab them with your feet using the parachute cap, and of course, if you miss the classic ladder trick for getting infinite lives in Mario Wonder, you can easily do it by placing a shell between two pipes. Neither Wario nor Waluigi appear in Super Mario Bros. Wonder, however, Daisy. does. Her inclusion in the game, however, came entirely by chance. Shiro Mauri, the director of Wonder, confirmed that his two daughters would always fight over who got to pick Princess Peach, as she was the only female character. So, being the great daddy is, he decided to solve the family disputes by adding Daisy into the game. Okay, honesty time. Super Mario's affinity for taking mushrooms has always been pretty sus. Aside from being a delicious edible fungi, mushrooms are also known to contain hallucinogenic components that might make you believe weird things, like you're getting bigger. In Super Mario Wonder, however, Nintendo went full on creating the first Mario mushroom that causes hallucinations due to its psychotropic abilities. This mushroom was similar to Mario's classic one, but had waves instead of circles. But finally, to avoid accusations of promoting drug use, they turned the hallucinogenic mushrooms into a hallucinogenic flower. And just like that, the game is suitable for all audiences. Even though Mario Wonder is highly innovative, many moves that badges grant in the game came from previous incarnations. Let's see if you can recognize them all. The floating high jump badge is Luigi's main feature in Super Mario Bros. 2. The crouching high jump badge also comes from Super Mario Bros. 2, although it was an ability all characters had and disappeared in latter games. The safety bounce badge grants the ability of Peachette in New Super Mario Bros. U. The timed high jump badge comes from Super Mario 64's Triple Jump. The boosting spin jump badge grants the move Mario had in Super Mario Galaxy, and the add exclamation blocks badge has the same function as the color switches in Super Mario World. Oh yeah, and in the hot 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 level, there's a final epic reference to Super Mario Bros. 2. When you pass through a door and find yourself in an inverted version of the same stage with changed colors, reminiscent of the magic doors in the NES game. Now, if you're already a Super Mario Bros. Wonder Wiz and complete the game 100%, the title screen background will change to black, six gold medals will appear on your profile, and finally, you'll get the Sound Off badge, which will cause some strange sounds to play alongside the game's normal effect. <laughs> Our favorite has got to be the sound that plays when you lower the game's longest flag.
Once you've completed a world, Poplin dialogues will change because you've already solved their problems and improved their lives. For example, in the desert, you can now water the talking flower at the beginning of the level. Master Poplin will follow your journey if you replay the stages in World 3, and the Poplins in the mine will return to their mining duties in the Fungi Mines. In the demo version, which was only available at certain events, it also had a special dialogue stating that you couldn't play any more stages in it, and the Poplin in charge of breaking a Bowser Rock feels incapable of doing it in this version. Super Mario's voice is finally changed in Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Charles Martinet is no longer the voice of Super Mario and Luigi. Wahoo! Wahoo! Let's go! Let's go! Here we go! Here we go! And his replacement in the game is Kevin Afghani, who is also the voice of Arnold in Genshin Impact. This guy was born in 1996, so he's relatively young compared to Martinet and Mario. On the other hand, King Boo has the exact same laugh as in the Luigi's Mansion series. And it can be seen that, without his crown, he's just a regular Boo. Bowser's army is made up of a fleet of giant flying ships. Their appearance in Wonder references Super Mario Bros. 3 and the levels on flying ships there. This isn't the only time the final boss from Mario games are honored, because the last Wonder Flower in Bowser's castle pits Mario against a giant Bowser in a setting reminiscent of classics from Super Mario Bros. One of the Wonder Flowers gives Mario a power that he's been missing for over 20 years. Metal Mario returns with a rematch master of his original song and the ability to conduct electricity. Just Super Mario paying homage to Super Mario. In the break times, you'll notice songs from older Mario games. In the Ninji level, for example, Mario's Sunshine song is playing. <laughs> In another Super Mario World song. And in another Super Mario Bros. 3s. The Wonder Flower triggers a Q&A contest where the bonus stage song from Super Mario Bros. 3 plays. And the Rolla Koopa's Wonder Flower hides a remix of Yoshi's Island's Results Song. In the intro scene, most of the main characters walk towards the Flower Kingdom. But what happens if you choose them as your character? Well, most of them will just disappear. If you choose Nabbit, he will no longer appear behind the bush. If you pick Peach, Yoshi is noticeably more relaxed. And if you pick Yoshi, Peach will walk, proving that being a princess doesn't necessarily make her lazy. When Mario reaches the flag, a series of sounds will play that may be familiar to you. The first one is the chord that introduces Princess Peach's castle song. The second one is the characteristic snap of the Nintendo Switch. If after this adventure full of secrets you're left wanting more, then check out the rest of our videos of Super Mario Easter eggs and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss the upcoming videos. See you next time!